My next guests have won WWE titles both as a tag team and as single competitors. They just released a new book called Exist to Inspire. Here they are, folks, the Hardy Boys. That's Matt us. Jeff. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. So, now, let me ask you this first. Are, are you really brothers? Absolutely. We are blood yeah. brothers. Really? We're probably the only real brothers in the WWE. Wow, isn't that something? There's been so many brothers, but they weren't really You never related. know who's brothers and who's right. not brothers, right. but we are right. brothers. Yeah, that's right. That's absolutely correct. Yeah, that's now, sure. you guys have been on that 70s show. Yeah, that was one of our first acting gigs. Yeah. Besides, besides that's a real job, actually. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was yeah, a good time. Yeah, a good time. And, yeah, I remember one of the funny things were when we went up to that 70s show for the first time, they showed us a little wardrobe closet. They said, okay, you guys pick these outfits, and they had like four things. There were like three pair of briefs that were real skimpy and a singlet. I said, I'll take this, and yeah. grabbed the singlet as quick as I could, so that left Jeff with? With the briefs. <laughs> but they were real cool about it. They would bring us robes in between each shoot, you know, so we wouldn't stand in there. He looked great in the briefs. Yeah. I'm not saying that. No. I didn't. You know, I didn't, I didn't grow up in a wealthy family by any means, but uh, we didn't share underwear. <laughs> now, now you, uh, you, you guys, I have to know this. What inspired you to get into wrestling? Because you're pretty big guys, but there's many other things you could have done. Yeah, I remember watching WrestleMania um, 4, I think, and Macho Man won this tournament to become the world champion. I think at that same time, like, we both said, this is what we want to do. Because yeah. we wanted to experience that same, you know, We're vibe we've seen. So uh, we went for it. We're basically both real big fans, and you know, we said, hey, look at these guys. It's a perfect combination of athleticism, there's drama, there's humor. These guys are like real life superheroes. Right. So that's what we want to do. We kind of set our mind to it, and we fulfilled our dream. Kind of interesting, because the uh, odds are phenomenal that one of you would rise to the level you're at, let alone uh, the two of you. So yeah. it's an incredible thing. Especially if you. Thank you. Well, it's not too bad, you know, we were two guys, we had, uh, you know, no connection, uh, we had no connections in the uh, wrestling business, had no family in the wrestling business, right. not too bad for two little country boys from North Carolina. Well, sure. They grew yeah. up farming tobacco, Bo. Yeah. Now, I heard that uh, part of your uh, training regimen as kids was to practice your moves on a trampoline in your backyard? Yeah, we did yeah. a little bit of wrestling on a trampoline as far as that goes. We, uh, see somebody actually read the book already, they got a sign, they've done their homework. Actually, it's real funny, a story from the book, whenever we were building the TWF arena, so to say, me and a friend of mine, Jeff was at school, it was a hot summer day, about 90 degrees, and we were chopping down, you know, trees right and left, it was uh, 90 degrees, it was hot, we were sweating, we cleaned everything up, and we had it on a big brush pile, and I said, well, since we've done all this work all day, I said, let's burn it, let's get rid of it, yeah. you know, and then we'll have the arena. So we set this thing on, uh, we set this thing on fire, and we had this huge brush pile, and all of a sudden, just a gust from the heavens came down, and the next thing I knew, like, the whole woods was just engulfed in flames. And it's 500 feet from my house. Yeah. And my dad's not home, he's at work. Yeah. So I told my friend, I said, hey dude, we gotta get this out, quick. So he says, I'll go get water. So he takes off and I've got a, a, like a pine tree branch and I'm swatting away at the flames. He comes back with one bucket of water, there's like an acre of land on fire. And he goes, Shh. he says, I'll go get some more. <laughs> and he takes off, so I'm sitting here and finally he calls the fire department. My dad gets home, I said, quick guys, we gotta get this out before my dad gets home. And whenever he does get home, I'm out there and I'm like, I've got only a pair of shorts on, yeah. third degree burns, and now my pine tree limb is just a stick. And I'm still swatting the firefighters or with the big hoses, and believe me, I caught a lot of trouble for that one. Now, I want to ask you this, uh, well, it's in the book, I read the book last night. Uh, is it true that the two of you used to listen to Debbie Gibson and Vanilla Ice? <laughs> and and uh, spend a lot of your uh, leisure time uh, making your own costumes. Well, yeah, we're very mentally men. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we we didn't get a we didn't get a radio till I was in the sixth grade, and right. the first couple songs I really dug was some Debbie Gibson, some Belinda Carlisle, some of that stuff. You know, it evolved eventually into like Pearl Jam and a few other things. Now, Pearl Jam's on Boys right now. That's my favorite band, mm -hmm. and uh, the Vanilla Ice thing. That's all, Jeff. <laughs> this is all I gotta say about that. Check it out. All right, stop. 
collaborate and listen. I should back with my friend and invest in something. I won't, I'll stop there, but yeah, I was, he was a big influence. Now, now, do you find you're getting a really uh, great reception from your fans? Awesome, man. Yes. The, uh, everywhere we go, like, the Hardy Boys always had the most diehard fans. Right. And even now we're split, there's still a lot of Mattitude followers out there. I don't know there's some here tonight. And uh, there's a lot of people from the Imagination here as well. I'll give credit where credit is due. But, uh, you know, the, the response to the book has been overwhelmingly positive, and I couldn't be happier, man. Good, good. Now, w what's up next for you, fellas? What do you, w what's the next big thing? Uh, well, the next big thing for me is uh, right now I'm the WWE Cruiserweight yeah, champion. Yeah, can I see that? Let's see that fight. Can yeah. I see? Oh, you know, I, I, I'm getting the vibe from you. Right. You're putting off some strong attitude. So this is all yours right now. I'm going to drape this on your shoulder. Beautiful. We might take my name plate off and put yours on. That's fantastic. It's also very, very heavy. So, uh, <laughs> actually, my next big goal right now would to be uh, is to be the WWE champion. I mean, that's my eventual goal. And I think if you're fantastic. in the business, yeah, if you're in the business of sports entertainment and the WWE, your ultimate goal is to be the man. Okay. And that's being the WWE champion. That's what I'm striving for. And I think it's about time somebody turned the rock into gravel. Yeah. <laughs> Now here's the, here's the book. Oh, this thing's really heavy. <laughs> here's the book, folks. The Hardy Boys book. You get out there and you get that. It's in Chapters Bookstores right now. <laughs> Wonderful to see you both. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank, Thank you, me. Jeff. The Hardy Boys. We'll be right back with the Swallows.